So I woke up this morning and let my dogs out and saw these boxes on the porch and I was like, yes, my order has came in, or at least part of it. Guys, this is a huge order, about $5,000 worth of fishing gear is coming to me and I am freaking stoked about it. Like I said, this is just part of it. I still have a whole bunch of more rods coming and this is just part one of this order. So we got three boxes here. Check out that catfish. Uh, guys, it's early in the morning. I got like four hours of sleep. I look like crap. That's why I got these sunglasses on. So, yeah, anyways, I'm out here on the boat. We are taking the boat out later today, but first off, I want to unbox these packages I got from Okuma, Fish Lab, and Soft Steel. So, I didn't get a knife. Dang it. You ever seen a grown man crawl around his boat? Haha, <laughs> yeah, we got a knife. Okay, so, again, I woke up this morning. I don't know why I'm so tired. I got no sleep last night. Stayed up editing till like five in the morning. Got about three hours of sleep. So, pretty typical night of sleep. So we got three boxes here. Let's go ahead and open up the rods first. Just because it's big and awkward. Like myself. Yeet, yeet. It's been a while since I opened up a box of rods. Freaking stoke! Can you guys see the box? Let me give y'all a wider angle. Y'all wanna y'all wanna see what I'm actually opening up? That'd be freaking cool, right? Actually see the unboxing in the unboxing video. Sorry about the wind noise guys, it was not supposed to be this windy today. I did see that we got some psycho sticks. And psycho sticks are some pretty freaking awesome rods. And here they are. Holy crap. Okay, we'll take these out and then get rid of this big box. Ice fishing combo, what? Hmm. All right, so we got four new rods, three new rods, can't count today, just woke up. And then we got a ice fishing combo. I've never been ice fishing before, but I at least wanted to have the rod in case I ever do go. I do like having a small rod on the boat just because it's really fun to catch fish on small rods like this. But right now I'm just unboxing it. I'll go through it later on and kind of show y'all more of what we got. Yeah. Yeah. Akuma Psycho Stick. The sexiest rod you will ever see in your life. I promise you. Psycho Stick number two. And then we got a guide select. This box is heavy as crap, so we're gonna open this one last. Eh. What the hell is in there? It's freaking cold and windy. Can you see? Let me know if you can see. Can you see? How do I lose stuff that was just in my hand? There we go. Oh yeah. All right, so we got the Fish Lab tackle boxes. I got 10 of these in this size. Let's go ahead and pull these out. Now I get to go through all my tackle and switch them out into these boxes. It's gonna be fun, can't wait. I'm being serious by the way. I'm not being sarcastic on that. All right, so here are the big boxes. And it looks like we got four of these. I did order five, so there should be one more coming soon, sometime, I don't know. Never know when these boxes show up, they just kind of show up, but. Even has a tape measure right here, up to 12 inches, dude. Built in, what? And here we have some tackle. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through this tackle just yet. I wanna go ahead and open up the other box and see what's in there, and then we'll go through all the tackle. Oh, that box is heavy. This box is stuffed full. Sheesh.
Yes. Water resistant jacket, baby. We're gonna be out here on this boat in the rain, I promise you. We got all the gear for it, we're ready. Oh, oh. Bio Shad Wake Bait, check out that, that is so sick. Dude, that clear color. So freaking awesome, dude. All right, so when I got all my Akuma reels, they are super, super nice. I mean, the nicest reels I've ever used in my life, ever seen in my life. So I made sure to go ahead and get a whole bunch of baitcaster reel covers. I think I got like 15 of these covers. And that is just to protect the reels whenever I throw them into the rod locker box. We got that Fish Lab gray hoodie. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at this box of tackle. Look at that. That is so sick. That is a huge popper. That's a saltwater popper, but uh, it's just too cool not to have, right? I mean, if you saw that on the internet, would you not want that? Would you not want that? Be honest. Look at them colors. Okay, so this is all the tackle. We do have a few reels in here as well. Like this, deep diver. We got the whole box of deep divers right here. Oh yeah, tiger blood color. Gotta take a breather. It's a lot of tackle. Okay, so one thing I did order too is a whole bunch of soft steel line in all different sizes. In my last order, I kind of went through all the lighter stuff. So on this order, we went with the heavier stuff. And we also got a bunch of braid, lightweight braid. But uh, yeah, again, just unboxing right now, getting everything out. Gonna make a huge mess on the boat. 80 pound braid. Yeah, 80 pound braid. Big swim bait video is coming very soon, I promise you. Twenty pound mono. Stay. All right. Next up, we got some reels. We got the Helios SX. Again, another sexy, sexy reel that needs to be protected. Check out that reel, man. So this was actually my first favorite reel from Akuma. Super awesome. It throws real far, and then they just kept coming out with more and more awesome reels. So uh, yeah, now I have a new favorite, which is now the Hakai reel, which I highly recommend everyone go get one. The link is in the description. It's $169 for the Hakai reel, but it is worth every penny, I promise you. But yeah, Helios SX, this reel is awesome as well. And just look how sexy she is. They are sexy and they work awesome. They're not just good looking, they perform good as well. Boom, another one. Are you kidding me? We got two, baby. Freaking sweet, different sizes. Same reel, different gear ratio. Freaking stoked to have these, man. I already have one. It's been my frog rod, but now it's gonna be, it's, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I got it all written down right here. What rod and reel goes to where. All my, this is my black book, by the way, guys. Gotta have one. Keep all your information together. Know what you're gonna do. And then we got the Epixer. I believe this is the Baitcaster Epixer. I already have the spinning e-pixer. Yes, dude. Yep, this is the freaking bait caster. Let's check her out. This is a new reel to me. I've never seen this one. I got a lot of new stuff coming, guys. Yeah, that feels awesome. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah, okay. So this is my spinner bait reel. Soros rod. Nope, don't have it. All right, so there are the three reels that we got in part one. Like I said, a lot more are coming. Again, these are my original favorite reel from Akuma. And we're stocked up on them, baby. We're also about to be stocked up on the Hakai reel because I got two more coming, I believe. All right, guys, it is time for the tackle. Go ahead and just dump all this into this one. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, we have a full box of Fish Lab Tackle. Oh, freaking excited, dude. Do you guys love Tackle? I freaking love Tackle. All right, so I'm going to take all this out of the box, get it on the deck of the boat, kind of organize it, and then we'll go through each lure and what I got, so. Don't worry, guys. Their packaging is legit. That's not going to hurt any of these lures. 
Watch out, line. God, tackle's turn. All right, so we got a crap ton of jerk baits. Can you guys see? No? Let's uh, reorganize here. Sorry, guys. I just woke up. Did I tell you all that? I'm not at full capacity yet. I'm sorry. I'll get there. It should be illegal for me to be outside right now. Should not be allowed. We're a bunch of wobblers. That's why. That's why there's so many jerk baits. I don't have any in this wobbler style, so I got a crap ton of the wobblers. This year, I am building the confidence to throw huge wake baits like this. If I go back down to Arizona, Lake Havasu, I'm throwing nothing but these big baits. I promise you. I am still waiting on my swim bait rod, but as soon as that gets here, I'm gonna start throwing around big wake baits, swim baits, glide baits, all that good stuff, and just gonna build up my confidence. I bet this bad boy would have caught some uh, striper down there in Lake Havasu. I should have brought one, but I didn't. Wasn't thinking. Even this size, I bet, would kill them as well. That is what we need to be throwing. Look at all these wobblers I got. But like I said, new product. Didn't have any of these, so new to me. So I had to get some. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Oh, oh. Like I said, it's freaking cold. So we're gonna put on this hoodie. Got the Fish Lab logo on the front. Fish Lab on the sleeve. Guys, sleeve design is everything. And then we got the Fish Lab logo on the back as well. I'm throwing this on. My feet are cold, I'm barefooted over here. Runny nose from this cold wind. <sighs> Any more tags? I don't wanna look like a freaking idiot, you know? Wearing a tag? That's embarrassing. Wind? Psycho? Fish Lab hoodie going over the Fish Lab hoodie. Since we're on the uh, whole apparel opening up ish, opening up stuff, let's go ahead and open up this rain jacket. Freaking fire. I hope it rains right now. We got a rain jacket. I don't care. <laughs> heavy, breathable, and water resistant design. Fully taped, leak proof seams. Water resistant heavy duty front zipper, water resistant zipper chest pocket, two zippered hand warmer pockets with mesh lining, fully adjustable hem and hood, fully adjustable velcro cuffs. Yeah, top of the line. There's the front. Got a little bit of sleeve design going. And then on the back, we got the inspired fishing. Dude, this is amazing. It's so thick. This ain't just a rain jacket, all right? Rain jackets are thin, super thin material. This is super thick. There's like three layers. There's mesh and then another layer inside there. I'm throwing this on too, dude. I gotta see how this looks. This looks freaking awesome. Get out of here. It still has that new jacket smell. Love it. Imagine it's raining right now. I also got another rain jacket as well, which is like just a lightweight rain jacket. Looks awesome. But uh, yeah, where were we? Oh yeah, organizing all this line. We have a crap ton of line here. This is how we're looking right now, guys. Quite the poop show. Except it's not poop, it's awesome fishing tackle and gear. Okay, let's get these boxes somewhat in order. 10 of these small ones, four of the big ones. And we'll definitely need them because we just got a crap ton of tackle and probably more on the way so Ooh, we just became a handheld video look at that without even trying every rod and reel is going to have the line that it needs no more using the same line we got every type of size braid mono four carbon four pound six pound eight pound ten pound twenty pound fifteen pound five pound thirty pound sixty five pound eighty pound i mean we are set guys and look at this once again guys the four carbon is back in stock with the four rolls. If you want to do your entire reel with four carbon, you can. 1,200 yards of four carbon. Huge rolls. We got 12 pound, 15 pound, 20 pound, and 10 pound. It is back in stock on softsteelusa.com. If you don't want to tie on a leader, you want to go just full four carbon, this is the way to go, guys. 
They also got smaller sizes, of course, 200 yards. We are set. I cannot wait to get all my rods and reels rigged up perfectly, except for one thing. Once all my gear is perfectly set how it's supposed to be, then I don't have an excuse to not catch fish anymore. It's just my fault. The gear is perfect, you know? Perfect line, perfect weight size, all that good stuff. Now what do I blame for not catching fish? Nothing, because I can't. It's my fault. I suck at fishing. I'm sorry, all right? I'm trying to get better, catch more fish. One day I'll learn. But really, that is my goal for this year is to become a better bass angler. I've had the pleasure of catching some pretty decent bass and fishing some pretty awesome bass lakes and private ponds. And I've caught some bass that I'm pretty stoked about. But I do want to better my skills on the bass fishing. My local lake is a huge walleye lake. And yes, there is walleye in Texas. There's two lakes in Texas. And one of them is my local lake. The other lake is about, I think, two hours from me. I'm not too sure on that, but yeah, two walleye lakes here in Texas, and my local lake is one of them. All right, so there are the Fish Lab tackle boxes. We're gonna get rid of all my old boxes and change them out to these Fish Lab tackle boxes. All right, so now we got the line. I'm putting you guys back on the tripod. All right, so here is everything we got, plus these rods over here, but we'll get to those last. So I'm gonna kind of go through this pretty quick, show you all everything real quick. I got it all organized here. So we got 10 of the 3600 tackle boxes. We got four of the 3700 size tackle boxes. Three of the 200 yard four pound four carbon, one six pound four carbon, one 10 pound in the 1200 yards, a 12 pound, a 15 pound, and a 20 pound. All 1200 yards of fluorocarbon. And then we move over to the mono. So we got three of the eight pound, three of the 12 pound, three 15, three 20, and then three of the 25 pound Super HT mono. And then we move over to the braid. Eight pound, 10 pound, 20 pound, 65 pound, and those are all 300 yards. And then we got two of the 80 pound braid in 300 yards. And then we got the big rolls. This is 1500 yards of braid. This is a 10 pound. And then we also got a 20 pound braid right here. And then we got two of the 30 pound, 110 yard ultra premium mono. That is for the catfish rods. So there is all of the line. We are stocked up, ready to go. I think I have more coming. I'm not sure I need to check my order list, but yeah, this is for the whole year of fishing. Pretty stoked about that. All right, and now we have the rails. We got three bait casters today. We got two of the Helios SX. This is the 7.3 to one gear ratio. This is going to be for my frog rod. And then we also got the 6.6 .6 to one gear ratio. This is going to be for my chatterbait rod and reel. Actually got the rod back there for that so we can actually throw together the chatterbait rod today so i'm pretty stoked about that you know me i love them chatterbaits and then we got the epixer this is also a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio and i have yet to use the epixer baitcaster so i'm not sure how good she is but we'll test her out for sure there's the reels and then of course i got 15 baitcaster covers just to protect all these rails. I mean, look how freaking nice these are, guys. Are you kidding me? Wouldn't you want to protect that? Wouldn't you want to protect that beauty? Especially for this bass boat, I mean, most bass boats, in these big bass boats, it's just a open rod locker and you just set all your rods inside and they all just sit on top of each other. So when you're driving down the road, those rods are bouncing, man. Maybe, I don't know, they may not be bouncing, but uh, if you hit a big bump, they're definitely bouncing, rubbing up against each other, having a good time in the box. You don't want to scratch up your nice, pretty reels, all right? Use them to death. Catch fish, but don't scratch them up. Not necessary. It doesn't have to be like that, man. All right, and now for the tackle. So as you can see, I got a ton of tackle from fishlabtackle.com. I also got a whole bunch of new products as well, so those will be coming in throughout the year whenever they get in stock. But I got a whole bunch of awesome Hydro Glide Baits bio minnow vertical jigs the slamamander and bio shad tail spins so i cannot wait for those to come in 
once those come in we will do the second part of unboxing yeah so this is quite a bit of stuff so I'm gonna kind of rapid speed go through them and let's check them out so we'll start over here we got the 8 inch bio walleye freaking fire that guy's huge okay so here's the deal I don't really expect to use this thing but they're just awesome I already have one I just figured you know what let's get more colors for a lure that I will probably only use once a year so sick Next up, we got the 4-inch and the 6-inch Bioshad wake baits. The detail on these guys are absolutely amazing. I already have these three, but, you know, I had to get some more. And then I got this color as well. Freaking beautiful. Next up, we got the Flanker pencil bait. This is an inshore bait, but look at that. That is going to be a killer lure for walleye. Bouncing up and down. Freaking fire, man. I may go to the docks today and drop that down just to see what's up. Next up, we got three of the four and a half inch bio minnow jerk baits. Three different colors gold, classic silver, of course, and then we got the purple and black and blue. Yes, 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 yes. Next up, we got some wobblers. I don't have any of these wobblers, so we went all out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got all the colors. I just figured these wobblers are going to be an awesome bait for walleye. Four inch, one and three ounce floating wobblers. Next up, we got the big deep diving jerk baits. Five and a half inch suspending jerk bait. We got one, two, three, four, five of the deep diving bio minnow jerk baits. All different colors. Next up, we have this big bad boy. Look how freaking clean, dude. This is the scrum popper. This is the five and a half inch, two ounce floating. This is a offshore bait. Although I got it just cause it's cool, I may bust it out and actually use it. Striper, striper would go after this too. All right, so next up we got the frogs. We got a whole box worth of frogs. Even though I already have a whole box worth, but you know, you gotta keep backup of your favorite lures. So we got backup, baby. So here we got the two and a quarter, half ounce floating frog. These are the poppers. We got white, the green, and the black all in two and a quarter and then here we got the two and three quarter black and yellow popping frog next up we got the two and a quarter half ounce rattling toad can't hear it inside the packaging but these frogs do have a rattle but yeah freaking juicy frogs man freaking i love them this year is a frog year it's a leap year huh <laughs> get it because frogs leap and jump <clears throat> never mind anyways we got let's see four of the two and a quarter rattling toads white black and yellow green brown and then we got the big popper we got the three and a half inch one and a quarter ounce popping rattling toad same rattle big frog and then we got the three and a half inch frogs same thing rattling toads we are hooked up on the frogs ready to go Next up, we got the Biospoon Weedless. These are awesome. I had some of these. I was actually trolling some of these and I lost them. I, I was so freaking bummed. So, of course, I had to go get some more. I've got the gold and then the silver spoons. And then we have the Mad Eel. So, these are a coastal, intercoastal lure. But, again, these guys will work for walleye 100%. So, I got two of those. And then we got these soft bio minnows. Guys, these are awesome plastics. Just look at them. Throw an underspin on these and they are fire. If you like paddle tails like me or swim baits, this is the way to go. Look at that. You can see the scales, the fins, the detail. I mean, dude, freaking beautiful. We got four colors. I already have some white ones and then also see there's more mad eels we got the sartreuse we got the black ones as well and then the other color of i think it's fire tiger i'm not really sure but uh yeah we have them i've used them they're awesome 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 plastics fishlabtackle.com go check them out links in the description all right guys so there is all the tackle we got quite a bit and this ain't even all of it but let's now move on to these rods so again never been ice fishing but I love keeping a tiny rod on the boat I came from kayak fishing you know that's where everyone starts as a kayak we've now moved up to a bass boat but 
on my kayak, I always kept a baby rod that I found. It was Dominique's rod. Dominique is one of my subscribers. Shout out to Dominique and his family. Awesome, awesome family. Every time I see him, they stop and talk to me, invite me out on their boat, and just cool people. But yeah, I used his rod. He lost it, and I pulled it up from the bottom of the lake, so I just kept it for him. Been using it. Yeah, so I always kept that rod on the boat, on, on the kayak, and it was just super fun to catch fish on that little rod and reel. So now we have a Okuma cold water ice, 32 inch ice fishing reel and rod to keep on the boat. I just throw a minnow on there and drop it straight down. This is super easy because I can have two long rods sticking out of the boat going each direction, and then I can have a short rod sticking right out close to the boat so they don't get all tangled up when a fish gets on it but it comes with the Okuma Seymour C10 I already have a bunch of Seymours in fact all my live fishing poles are Seymour I just realized that and now we have another one so freaking sweet and again if I ever go ice fishing it gets freezing cold in my local area but there's no ice and the lakes that do freeze over you're not allowed to get on so it kind of sucks I can't ice fish but I still have to deal with the super cold temperatures Look, there's still snow over there. Snow right here. It's cold, guys. And I'm out here barefoot. I'm freaking cold. That's why I'm still wearing these three jackets. <laughs> but yeah, we got the cold water ice fishing combo. And then we got two psycho sticks and one guide select cranking rod. So this is a medium cranking rod. Seven foot long. And again, this is my chatterbait rod. So I get to actually throw on the rail up there. Let's go ahead and do it. What am I doing, right? What am I doing with my life? Uh, this one. All right, so here is the reel attached to the rod, and I must say that is absolutely freaking disgusting. And I mean that in the best way possible. Helios SX Okuma Guide Select Cranking Rod. Uh, guys, this is a seven foot medium rod and a 6.6 .6 to one gear ratio, which is the perfect rod and reel for a chatterbait. Throw on some 20 pound fluorocarbon on there and we are set to go. So I'm actually gonna rig this up today, which I'm stoked about because again, I love throwing these guys around. They catch some bass. And then we got two of the beautiful, the sexy Okuma Psycho Sticks. These rods are, guys, if, if I mean, look at this guys, I'm speechless. These are part of Okuma's premium bass rod series and it shows these guys are absolutely beautiful. So what I got here is I got a seven foot, five inch heavy bait caster rod. And then we got the seven foot, two inch medium spinning. You cannot beat these psycho sticks, I promise you. Every single rod has its own different pattern. None of them are the same. Look right here. Up here, different as well. I mean, none of these rods are the same. That's the cool thing about these psycho sticks. We got the double locking reel seat here as well. Okay, that's enough about the psycho stick. These reels are awesome. I could talk about them for days. Let's not make a three hour long video here. There is all the rods. Again, I have more rods coming. I have a rod for every single type of fishing, crankbait, spinnerbait. I already told you all this in the last boat video, but uh, we got some of it in. This is just part one of this unboxing. Now I get the pleasure of going through all this tackle Putting it in these boxes and then changing out all the old boxes that I have in here from years ago to all these new Fish Lab tackle boxes. All right, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Unboxing tackle never gets old to me though. If you want to unbox your own tackle, go check out fishlabtackle.com, softsteelusa.com, and okumafishingusa.com. Links are in the description. Guys, go check them out. Awesome gear. I promise you I'm not just saying that because they sponsor me. They do sponsor me. That is why I got all this gear. But guys, trust me. As you just saw, it is awesome gear go check them out but guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one peace